You will hear music as you enter into the space. You will see chairs in a semicircle that instructs you to where you need to go and where you need to sit. Um, you will see our guidelines for good grace. Those are basically our, our rules or our parameters for how we hope you'll engage in the class. And then you will see a schedule of the activities um, that we anticipate uh, doing throughout the duration of that one hour with you. Strong. And at Upstream Arts, we do arts programming for youth and adults with disabilities from birth to retirement. Um, we are an interdisciplinary arts organization that looks at using the arts as the tool to teach the complicated nuances of social and communication skills. So Julie and I founded Upstream Arts because of a personal experience where dance, I found a connection with my own son. Uh, through movement, we created a new kind of language, one that worked for us, and we took that experience and we ran with it. Uh, some of our students have, have li literally crawled out of their shell. Uh, one individual in particular, first day, pulled a hoodie over his head and wouldn't, wouldn't move. He was just stuck under there. He wouldn't move at all. Like, several weeks later, he's participating and I'm doing making statues and participating in the work scenarios. Three, two, one, action. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we see on a weekly basis people do things that their staff said they couldn't do. And when we build connections and community through artistic practice, and it's so natural because it's all about play. And it's through play that we learn to understand the rhythms and the patterns of social interaction. It just evokes a new way and a new opportunity for people to really express and gain confidence. There's a lot to be done when it comes to making sure that individuals with disabilities are brought out of the margins and into our communities and a part of our lives and a part of our world. Our students come to understand that um, it's okay to make mistakes, it's okay to do things you're not used to doing, and it can be fun, and you can express yourself in ways that they hadn't thought of before. We believe that the arts can connect us to our voice and that the arts allow us the choice to decide what we want to share of ourselves and how we want to share it. It's, it's about an authentic invitation to share. They present this, this form. They give that participant a chance to fill that form in and explore those feelings and those emotions and those ideas. They really inspired me to think even broader about the concept of access, uh, to think even broader about the concept of inclusion. Art is for everybody, that everyone is creative in whatever way they are, um, and with whatever they're bringing to that creative draw, is, yeah, it's like magical, it's perfect, it's beautiful. And I think that's something that we see day in and day out in Upstream, is how creativity like has a place for everyone. That's seeing so clearly what a difference that the arts can make. I particularly feel a connection to upstream arts and want so much to have them continue and expand and serve more people. I think every dollar spent is like so valuable. There's not a wasted penny going on at Upstream Arts. It's really hard work and passion. The role that we each play in supporting the work of Upstream Arts is significant and critical in its own way. Um, some uh, folks participate in our programs, others invest in our work. Um, all are of equal and great, great importance um, to making our world more creative and joyful and diverse. Um, and upstream artsy. <laughs>